talk to them, you know. Why? What's going on? Why does something always have to be going on? Maybe if you talk to them earlier, maybe something wouldn't have to be going on. You are some piece of work you are, you know that? Blood from a Stone is about a family in uh, major distress. And it is about the way they find their way through that turmoil. It's about how difficult I think it is to make changes in one's life. It's about family and the, the ties that bind. Um, it's about loyalty. It's about freedom or the lack thereof. The, the whole, whole play is driven by, by kind of, um, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a very deep love um, that this, this family has. And, um, and there's, there's all kinds of betrayal. Um, there are all these secrets. Um, it, 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 the, the relationships are very complicated and very rich. It's rare to find a new play that uh, is as authentic as this one is. There's just something authentic about these people and um, in their world, it, it speaks to me. And every once in a while you read one that just makes you just light up and think, we have to do this. And that's really what happened with this play. You know, um, it's so exciting when you find a new writer with a voice that's just um, pierces you, goes, gets you in the gut. I started somewhere where I probably knew, but then it just went on a trip and you sort of discovered what happens. So it's been quite an experience to find out what the play's about while actually writing it and then working on it and then having these great people involved with it. I love working on new pieces. Um, I, I, I thought it was a, a very compelling script early on and, and I love the process of uncovering what it is and charting this territory. And I love working with these people. Part of why I wanted to, eat, to do this um, was to get a chance to witness how great actors work, kind of. Uh, I just thought it was going to be, a, and it has been a very interesting experience for me to learn from everybody and get to watch things and watch sort of the rehearsal process and watch the way people take direction. I think a few years ago I probably would have not understood the word collaboration, but now it's, I, I really truly feel that that's what it is. And so I've learned a lot. I've, I've learned something every day working with Scott and this group. When you're watching it, you're always wondering what's gonna happen next. You know, it's, it's, it never really dies down. It's always, there's always something happening. So it's very exciting. It reminded me of, the, uh, of a Springsteen album. That was the first thing I thought. It was true and funny and full of pain and full of the stuff of life, you know, joy and silliness and I don't know. It is kind of, it's a throwback to a very old school kind of play um, that I grew up on and really like. You'll see um, a play that you will understand, I believe, and that you will be drawn into and that you will relate to on a rather profound level, which really is the reason we go, isn't it? To be reached somehow. You can expect a gritty drama. If that's interesting to you, if you want to see, if you like Death of a Salesman, if you like that kind of thing, if you want to see a modern version of that, something, if that speaks to you, then you might like this show.